Hi, I'm Ron Christensen, sales manager of Kit Home Builders West. We're outside on the porch of our Stonebridge Model 5502. You can see with this full wraparound porch that it gives us tremendous opportunity for entertaining. It's accented with cedar that just gives it a very rustic look. Okay, we've got can lights to illuminate after dark. Uh, we've got rock accent and cedar again on the other side. So I'd like to show you the inside of the house, so come on inside with me. Well, now we're inside this house. I've come in on a ceramic tile foyer. We have multiple options as to the flooring that can be used there. And now I'm walking across into the large living room area. Uh, this is an area that we've accented with an optional Craftsman dormer. It gives us a dormer on the exterior of the house and then elevates with a high flat ceiling that we've highlighted with recessed can lights, also an antique bronze paddle fan, and then kind of a unique feature where we have a trough in which we've put a uh, rope light that gives us unique lighting just as an ambiance feature. Uh, in having this high ceiling, we're able to use taller windows. We have 80 inch windows here that allow a lot of natural light into this room, which I think is important. And then it's a room that we've accented with an optional wainscot trim and a unique accent color underneath that. Speaking of paint, we have multiple colors of interior paint allowing you, the homeowner, as you make decisions on those things that would go into your home, the flexibility to really tailor it to your needs. Well, as we walk to the living room into the kitchen of the house, I want to point out a couple of things. We have a unique recessed art niche in the wall with a recessed can light. Uh, let you show off any of those things that are important to you and your family. And then is, this is a unique feature in this house, this computer center. Uh, we separate it into a separate work area with these walls that have some uh, tape and texture uh, build-outs around it, accented by sconce lights to provide some additional lighting. And as we walk into the actual computer center, you can see we've got a great work area here. Uh, we've got a lot of storage with full-length pantry-style cabinets, overhead cabinets that provide under-cabinet lighting. Uh, we have some file storage and some office supply storage here. So it really provides a unique area to take care of those household items or to allow the kids uh, to be working on their homework while still keeping everything close to the core of the house, which is the kitchen. Well, talking of the kitchen, great kitchen. We've got a large arched window that lets in a lot of natural light. We've got a great work center in this island, uh, right in the center of the kitchen. We've done it with decorative furniture style posts. This particular kitchen, we have our red provincial cabinets. Uh, it's one of many colors and wood styles that we have for cabinets. Uh, we've complemented it again with a uh, cap molding on the bottom of the cabinet that allows us to put in this uh, uh, indirect lighting underneath the cabinets. You can see we've used six inch ceramic tile from the countertop up to the bottom of the cabinets that give a different look in this kitchen. This is a uh, high definition laminate. It's one of many choices we have in countertop laminates, which you know we have multiple choices in laminates as well as the ceramic backsplashes. Some unique features in this kitchen, we've got a roll-out spice rack that makes cooking very easy. We've got a convenient Lazy Susan in this corner and a matching Lazy Susan in the other corner to increase storage in the kitchen. Uh, we've equipped the home with stainless steel appliances. Uh, one of the things that I think is very unique in this house is that we've got a large, what we refer to as a sidekick refrigerator and freezer combination. This is great for stocking up on those runs to the big box stores when they have things on sale. And next to this refrigerator freezer combo, we've got this nice pantry closet. And the nice feature on this is it's got an upgraded six panel pine solid core wood door. It's been stained to match the red provincial cabinet colors, and then it has matching molding around it. We've also accented it with an antique bronze lever handle and antique bronze hinges, and goes very nicely with this laminate flooring, which has a hand scrape custom feel to it. This is just one of many flooring choices that we have, so it again offers a lot of flexibility in what you can put inside your home. And just talking about a pantry, I wanna just walk across to the opposite side of the kitchen, and here we have a large walk-in pantry that has shelves, multiple shelves, 
It's got uh, lighting in it and it'll offer much storage. Okay, we're now in the master bedroom, master suite area actually. As we stand in the bedroom, you'll see we're a little bit under uh, some construction here as we're getting ready to break this house down. It's been sold, getting ready to be delivered out to its future owner. But you can see a very large bedroom. We've got two windows for natural lighting into this room. Offers a lot of spaces. We've got a queen size bed here. Uh, we have side tables on each side of the bed as well as a dresser, a chest of drawers back here and still with lots of room to maneuver around the bedroom. Opens up into our premier master bath through a nice decorative arched opening. Uh, we've got some drywall build outs here that just kind of give us some architectural relief uh, as we walk into the bathroom. And then just immediately inside the entrance door into the bedroom, we've got a very large walk-in closet that offers a shoe and sweater organizer and also has double hanging rods. So uh, a lot of storage in this particular bedroom. So we've got ceramic tile flooring in this bathroom and it's one of many choices that we have available for flooring. Many colors in ceramic. We also have uh, LVT vinyl flooring that's available as well as carpeting and rolled goods. Uh, you can see we have a very large vanity here. Double sinks, again accented by antique bronze faucets, antique bronze pulls on the hardware on the cab doors. You can see under each sink we have a set of drawers and a set of doors to give additional storage. And then this is a unique feature that as we open this up and it offers roll-out drawers, there's an electrical receptacle here. So for using a blow dryer, curling iron, you're able to use it, put it inside the drawer, slide it in and close it, and you've got everything removed from the top of your countertop. Here we've got a ceramic tile shower. You can see a glass pivot door that has no bar across it, so no matter your height, you don't have to worry about ducking under anything. There's a nice comfortable bench for sitting and uh, doing any kind of your bathing in there. And it offers a unique feature with these decorative glass blocks that overlook the vanity, as well as another set that overlooks this six-foot soaker tub. You can see that the tub deck extends out into this bay window, offering a lot of natural light into the bathroom have a unique recess niche here. The nice thing about that is it does have provision for a flat screen TV to go. So as you're enjoying soaking in your tub, you'd be able to keep up on your latest television show or sports broadcast. Also has a nice built-in lighted vanity system here. Full-size mirror above the vanity. Has a lighted mirror that's a magnetic mirror for any of the close-up work that you would need to do. Actually has makeup drawers for storage of those personal items, and then has a storage system like the vanity with the roll-out drawers and the electrical receptacle inside so that you're able to use those devices, put them away, and they're out of, out of view, out of sight. Well, I'm just sliding back this pocket door that opens up into the utility room. This area it comes in directly off the hall, but it's unique in that we have a second exit that comes in from the kitchen into the utility room. The utility room has a lot of storage. It's got a built-in base cabinet with overhead cabinets. Above the washer and dryer area, we actually have a clothes hanging rod, so for those cases of permanent press items, you're able to hang them up. Uh, we've also built this house with an optional laundry sink, so there's just a lot of flexibility. Whether you're canning, doing anything outdoors, it gives you access to that type of utility sink. Uh, again, we have many cabinet choices that are available different countertops and flooring choices. It's also a nice arrangement in that it opens up to an exterior door, so if you have a carport or a garage, you're able to come in with an armful of groceries, set them down if you need to here before getting them put away into your kitchen and dining room area. Well, as I come out of the utility room, you can see we have immediate access to a full bathroom, very convenient, has a one-piece fiberglass tub shower, so it's very easy to clean, very easy to use. You come into the bathroom, we've got a 36 inch high vanity. Everything in here is complemented with antique bronze faucet fixtures and lighting fixtures. You have a lot of flexibility in the choices you can make here in terms of floor, floor coverings, countertop materials and backsplashes. Uh, we also have an additional feature in here where we have in the ceiling, we have a solar tube that lets in natural light into the bathroom. As I come out of the bathroom, I can then have immediate access into the second and third bedrooms. Very large bedrooms, 
uh, have full-size closets in each of the bedrooms and you would see that they're all accented with baseboard moldings, uh, blinds and window coverings are on the windows. Okay, I've just exited the master suite. I wanted to demonstrate the full wraparound porch and the versatility that it offers with this additional exterior entrance. Uh, so I'm Ron Christensen. Again, I want to thank you for joining us on this tour of our Stonebridge 5502. Look forward to you joining us on the next home tour.